As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Kind of stuff you can source. And kind of like, they kind of neat, kind of their day, kind of things you see, kind of gotten away, kind of neat, kind of boring clothing, kind of a pain in the butt. This is Kevin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're in the eBay cave today and we've got a great story when we were going through the last yard sale haul um, and you can go back and look at that video you'll see um, a box of stickers that I paid I think two dollars for it might have been three um, in order to resell them you know like kind of like creative memory stuff you know scrapbooking stuff to put in the booth and it was a whole box you know maybe 50 of them so I figured put 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars on some, and we can make 60, 70 bucks at the antique booths. Um, and so my wife was going through that process in it upstairs, and she, at the bottom of that box, found a pretty neat little discovery, and she called me up. So I'm gonna let y'all take a look at what she found in that box. That'll probably quadruple the value of that box which we thought was really kind of neat every once in a while you have those kind of things you see those things on on different youtube channels and you wonder if that's you know really true or not but in this case it is and it wasn't a, a an amazing you know found of a thousand dollars in something or anything like that but it is something that we did find and i want to show it to you she really likes them i think they're kind of neat and we'll let you look at that at the end of this video um might take a little bit of work to make some money off of it, but it's definitely going to be well worth the time, I think. All right, um, we're going to talk about what's sold today, and then we're going to go up and uh, show you what we found. All right, we have $254.09 in sales. I've already packaged up a couple things, some game board pieces um, for uh, a couple of board games, some shirts, some kind of boring clothing that you don't necessarily want to see. So I did have another sale of some clothing. We'll talk about that and then show you what's sold and then go upstairs and take a peek at what was at the bottom of that box. All right. First thing is the shirts right here. They're just American Eagle polos. I would not buy these ever, um, typically, but they were in really, really good condition. And they're both the same size, size large, and they were a buck a piece at a garage sale. And I thought they were neat colors, just plain blue American Eagle polo, pink. And I figured they'd sell it back to school time, and that's exactly when they sold. I've had these for probably five, six months um, since uh, maybe uh, you know late winter, and they sold for twenty-five dollars. So paid a buck a piece, so two dollars. They're going to probably go in a priority flat rate. Um, so, you know, it's, it's about $12 profit, $13 profit on this, uh, after fees, after expenses. So I'm um, not something I'd typically buy, but because they were together and they were both in good shape, we went ahead and did it and waited to back to school, which reminds me it's time to start to start. Well, it's past time to start listing that back to school stuff. Um, it's definitely time to start listing that, um, Halloween stuff right now. I've had some Halloween sales lately and had two more today. So uh, let's take a look at uh, those two Halloween sales real quick. One is this happy hour tequila guy here. Tequila poppin' dude. I don't know if this would be, uh, you know, cultural appropriation or whatnot these days. But uh, nonetheless, he sold. Didn't sell for much. It was a dollar buy. Look at that. You can get the shot glasses in this thing. Crazy. So a Halloween costume. First one we've sold. I don't have too many left. They're kind of a pain in the butt to uh, to go through, make sure they're clean, make sure all the parts are there, take pictures. So I've kind of gotten away from selling the average ones and started to only pick up the better ones. But there's definitely, if you have trouble sourcing, this is the kind of stuff you can source at yard sales all day long, uh, especially this time of year. Uh, maybe even in the late fall in some areas after Halloween, it's a great time to source. So uh, it sold for... 
Um, let, let me look up a different one here. So I can see the price is better. It sold for $23.21. Um, let me pull up a different one to give me the better prices on these. There we go. All right, and the other item that sold, Halloween item, was another one of these inflatables. We've been making pretty good money on this. This is a large one. It's eight feet across, and it's tested. Uh, I always blow them up. Um, make sure they're working. Take a picture while they're blown up. You're definitely going to get better money if they'll look at it and see that it's actually working. And that item sold for $59.95 plus shipping. So it's a nice little $45 profit on that. And I usually pay my older son to do that, and he'll make, he'll make, you know, I pay him hourly. He'll make probably about eight bucks going through that whole process. But we're going to make more than eight dollars um, because it's blown up like that and it's going to result in the fact that we're not going to get any returns on those because we know they're working so we took the pictures so um not to mention all the fraudsters out there can't say it's not working when clearly it's in there and sometimes i even put something in the picture that shows it's mine so all right had a canceled order which occasionally happens somebody bought something and then canceled it and that was some webkins littlekins uh bengal tiger stuffed animals gorilla and that stuff it was just trying to get rid of and that got canceled before we shipped it out. All right, next item up on the list is this um, beer tap handle. And I've sold the heck out of these if you've seen them in previous videos. This uh, Harpoon IPA, Boston, Massachusetts uh, IPA um, beer tap. And I think there was a 17 of these when I bought them and I paid $3 a piece. Been selling them for $18 plus shipping. I've been making a bunch of money on them. Um, sad to say there's only one more of these left, but that was a really nice buy. Um, multiples are great. One listing, tons of shipping, lots of money. All right, next item that sold, and this is from the happy little, um, happy little accident. This is the creative memories uh, that my wife's been working through and listing. Um, we're going to make pretty decent money. There was a bunch of these. This one sold for $8 plus shipping. Um, it's obviously, you know, going to stay four ounces, maybe eight, uh, make sure it's protected, but it'll go out and that'll be probably $7, six, seven dollars added to our total here, six fifty. Um, and let's do that real quick here. Well, now that we're on it, that will put us at a total of, see, we're at two fifty seven fifty out of our $200 initial investment. We're going to add... Um, we'll say seven dollars to that. We'll make it uh, two sixty-four fifty. So sixty-four fifty in the profit. And remember, if you haven't seen these videos, we're shooting for twenty-five hundred from one yard sale profit. So we'll see if we can get there. But there's a little addition to that today. Um, still don't have very much of that stuff listed. So we'll get there. Uh, this was a retail retail arbitrage item bought by Blue Ridge Mama. And I put her a uh, little sign up here, if you can see. I have her make a new one for me, but uh, she does Poshmark, so if you want to check out her store, that'd be great. Um, and this was, I think, $1.50. Um, bought tons and tons and tons of them. Have sold quite a few, and they're selling for about 11 bucks. so we're making $5 on them a piece, give or take a little bit. And uh, that'll get shipped out today. And I want to say that's the end of it. I think that's everything we got going out today, other than the few things I shipped out already. So... Um, you know, $254 with this and a couple more items that we've already shipped out. So pretty happy, you know, it's, you know, 140-ish, $150 profit, maybe a little bit more. Um, so not a bad day, but the good news is what's upstairs. And we're also going to give you an update here pretty quick on what the booth did in its first week of sales. So we've, we get an update every week from the booth to see what's selling. Um, I was initially hoping to pay our rent and maybe make a little bit of money. And so far we've paid our rent. In the first week of sales, we've paid our rent, paid the 10%, you know, off the top fee as well, paid for the expenses of the goods we sold, and have made a little profit in the first week. So at this point, everything else uh, is going to be, you know, pure profit because the rent's already paid for the next month. So pretty happy with that. We're not making a fortune. But if you can do that in the first week, you know, maybe we can make $100, $200, $300 dollars in a month sometimes. Um, and, you know, we're opening the second booth soon. And so if you can duplicate that and you can make four or five hundred dollars once these booths are set up I don't think they're that much work plus they're really close to the post office for me and for the kids and the kids love to go in there 
um, and that's going to be kind of their deal and we're taking a lot of that money and we're splitting it between the two kids so it's a fun thing to do a fun thing to learn with for the kids but uh, hopefully still not just having fun but making a little bit of money getting better at it um, vintage digs I want to send you a little shout out here and thank you for giving me so much advice I know you have some booths and I appreciate your uh, you're helping me with some 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 small tips and advice about those booths so keep it coming appreciate it y'all don't forget to subscribe and hey if you're subscribed uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, ringing that bell that would be awesome and also had our first customer go to the booths that mentioned our videos and got 10% off um, which is kind of neat so appreciate y'all doing that if you are around here ever for any reason I know there's a few local viewers um, that's really neat don't forget to mention our name in that booth and they'll give you 10% off so at any rate, don't forget, join us upstairs in just a second, and we're going to show you what we found at the bottom of that box. All right, so I told y'all we we're coming upstairs. I want to show you what we dug out, well, what, what uh, my wife dug out of that sticker box and started going through, and there's some really neat ones in here. Just wanted to show you. We don't know much about these. I looked up one or two and haven't looked up too many more than that. Oh, look at that. Hot um, cookie. <laughs> hot cookie. Um... That's pretty neat. So maybe there's somebody out there or you could send this to somebody that might be able to help us out a little bit. Um, I think there are some uh, some people that I have as viewers that would know some of these just from watching your channels or, uh, or listening to your comments a little bit. But um, if you know, let us know. There's some neat ones. This was 1920, right, babe? No, that's 19. The copyright oh. says 1906. Copyright 1906. But this was... That's a... Well, it's not a It's a valentine. Yeah, this one's a valentine. This one was actually signed, Helen, 1920. 1920. Excuse my hands. I've been painting. And there's, like, there's a duplicate there, but that one's missing. Whatever it's supposed but to be holding. I think... You know, this was someone's collection that has saved because there's several that say Helen. You know, two Helen are from, from Helen. I can't tell which. This is Evelyn. Evelyn. From your friend across the aisle. Evelyn, yeah, that would have been a popular name in the 1920s too. School rising across the aisle. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta show them. And that. this one is one of nightmares. <laughs> So we found the pieces separate. So this is eyeballs person. <laughs> so it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Ooh. And there looks like there's some that are a little bit more modern like these. Mm -hmm. that maybe somebody can tell us about. And some of them are written on. Jacqueline. These older ones all have um, printed in Germany. Printed in Germany. There's one I thought was Austrian here. I'm not sure. Maybe you can tell me from that. All right, well, just wanted you to take a look and uh, maybe you can pass this information on to somebody that might be able to help us out. And there was also, so. these aren't Valentine's, but these are all also old. They're all little Bible verses and just cut out pieces. These are really cute too. Hmm. Gotta be all 1920s I think. Maybe not. Maybe a little later. Look at that one. Hmm. Well, that's, yeah, that's copyrighted Maybe there. you can help us out on them. Thank you for joining us and uh, we'll give you an update when we find some things out. Thank you.